Hello, we will be explaining uh, Cal explanation A. And the first question asks us to uh, clearly define the units for both Rx and R prime of x. And what we said where the problem up here already gives us that R of, R of x um, represents the amount of money in thousands of dollars, where x is the number of units. So the units for this graph it would be dollars per unit goods and this r prime of x represents the derivative of r of x and the derivative is of this slope right here which would be marginal revenue over levels of production the second question asks us to how would you use the graph to determine the revenue from producing x unit of goods you will want to include an example so for this graph r of x, if we wanted to determine the revenue um, from producing these units um, as on the x-axis, we would have to plug in um, an x value into r of x to get the y value, which would be our thousands of dollars. So for the third question, it's asking us, when working with revenue functions, we call the rate of change of revenue with respect to production, the marginal revenue. Uh, it wants us to provide an example using a particular production level. So here, um, our y-axis is marginal revenue uh, because this is the uh, derivative of the first graph. The x represents the units for the levels of production. And if we look across um, this blue line, at, the, at a level of production of 23.75 units, we have the marginal revenue of 2.4 or uh, $2,400, which uh, would satisfy the answer for this question. Uh, so the next question asks, what is the inverse for y equals r of x? Um, so we know that when we find an inverse, for example, we have this example of this graph of f of x, where there's intervals of uh, the interval one to three when we want to find the inverse of f of two, um, of f of two, so when x equals two, what is y? Our inverse question can be when f of two, when x equals two, on this x-axis, what is the y? So what we can do to find the inverse question for the um, r of x. Can we move up? So when we want to find the inverse question for this graph of r of x, we can ask um, for which value of units uh, produced will it give us um, the proper revenue. So which value of x will give us the uh, y? So for this question, is it is asking us uh, what levels of production is the, will the marginal revenue be 2400 We already went over this for our previous example, um, since I believe there was a good example to give for that question, but we'll explain it here. So um, to give some context, our marginal revenue is equal to our revenue over production. It's equal to revenue over production, which is its relationship to the first graph. And here we can see at a level of production of 23.75 units, uh, we reach a marginal revenue of 2.4, which is equal to $2,400. And for the other part of this question, it's asking us to elaborate on this. So basically what the relationship between this and this is, is that in terms of revenue, the more we produce, um, the more revenue we make until we reach a total revenue of $80,000 or around 35 units. Uh, after that point, um, which by the way, its slope is zero, after this point, we get a diminishing amount of revenue. The last question asks, uh, what level of production is the revenue greatest? So where we want to see is on our original R of X graph, we want to see at which point does the graph reach its maximum to see where the greatest revenue is. So when we look at this graph, when the units are at 35, if we go up, our maximum revenue would be $80,000.
if we see here, this um, slope is zero, which makes sense because when the slope is zero, our y on our derivative graph, our y value should be should start at zero, and then from here on out, this point on this derivative graph where y is zero is the highest, and from there on out, it starts decreasing. So this relationship shows how the revenue of the r of x graph is related to the marginal revenue of this r prime of x graph because this graph represents the revenue, the slope of this line right here. The last question also asks how we can use the marginal revenue graph to determine the level of production where the revenue is the greatest. So here on our x-axis with the levels of production, if we want to see where um, our revenue is the greatest, we have to use the slope of zero when it's here. And then on our derivative graph, when the slope, when the level of production is zero, that is when we have our highest revenue. And it shows here on the regular graph that when our slope is zero, our highest revenue would be 80,000.